Hi, I'm Nicole here with USAC, and I am with Riker, who's one of our alum. And Riker just graduated, so we're talking to him a little bit about his next step and how study abroad helped get him there. So, Riker, where did you study abroad? I studied abroad in Lüneburg, Germany. <laughs> <laughs> uh, it's like northern Germany. It's about 20 miles from Hamburg. Nice. Why did you pick that location? Uh, my major. I'm an international business marketing major with. Uh, focus in European language studies. So a couple classes that I took had to be done in Germany and they weren't offered here at UNR. Nice, nice. And did the program live up to your expectations? Did you get everything you were hoping to out of the experience? Yeah, I loved it. I met a lot of cool people. Um, I met my current roommate um, when I was in Germany. Um, I thought it was an awesome experience and it was like a great location to travel and get to see everything I wanted to see. Very cool. What was one of your favorite parts about studying abroad? Um, I would say um, meeting the new people, getting the experience, um, to be confident in the world, even like back in the United States, I feel like it made me a lot more confident with talking to people for the first time um, and really going out of my comfort zone to make myself more comfortable. Nice. So what lessons do you think you learned while you were abroad? Um, I feel like... The biggest lesson I learned was the ability to, like I said before, speak to people. Um, also, being confident in myself as a person instead of feeling like I was reliant on other outside things going on around me. Very cool, very cool. And so you just graduated, and so what's next for you? Um, I am actually moving down to San Diego, and I have a job at UCSD. I'll be doing diversity recruitment. Um, for the university and hopefully getting ready to start my master's. Very nice. That's super exciting. Congratulations. Thank you. Um, how do you think study abroad has helped you land this new role? Um, I think the opportunity to get a job at USAC after studying abroad was an awesome opportunity that really made me enjoy higher education along with working on a university campus. Um, so that was one of the major things I was looking for in starting a career path. Um, but I definitely think study abroad opened those doors to, to make me enjoy working on a university. Great, wonderful, wonderful. Well, we'll be sad to miss you, um, but going back to your study abroad experience a little bit, did you have any sort of aha moment while you were abroad where you felt like, yes, this is it, this is where you should be, this is the right choice? For sure, yeah. So um, at the start of studying abroad, I was culture shocked, just like a lot of people I feel like get for about the first week or two. Um, and I ended up missing one of my buses from, well, I was kind of on the outskirts of town and I had to take about a half hour bus ride and I missed it for school. And when I figured out the way to get there with other transportation, it really made me feel comfortable. Like I knew other resources on how to move around the town besides being so reliant on just the bus system. So I feel like that's when I was really comfortable and felt like I could look at this as a home more so than I was visiting it. Nice, nice. So you mentioned culture shock a little bit. Did you experience any reverse culture shock when you came home from your study abroad? A little bit, yeah. So I spent a lot of time when I was in Germany speaking the language and hearing the language. And I think that was the biggest thing is coming home and everywhere you went was just back to English. Um, granted, over there, a lot of them did speak really good English and it wasn't like I, I forgot how to speak it. But um, just their way of life, it's a lot more social in the United States than it was in Germany. I feel like over there it's a little bit more exclusive and independent. Um, but it was still great. I, I definitely don't think I'd call it reverse culture shock, but it was definitely some changes I had to get used to. Yeah, adjusting back to exactly. life a little bit. Yeah, 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 but that's about it. Yeah, well, so you talked about your new job and your role um, recruiting diversity for the new university. How do you think the interpersonal skills you developed with study abroad will help you connect with other students and maybe connect with your new coworkers in a new environment because you are moving out of town to a new location. Definitely, yeah. I think that um, study abroad at the very base core of it is just an awesome talking point and it's a cool conversation starter. Um, a lot of people like traveling, especially in uh, like a, from what I've found at least in like a university setting. Um, it's like a very common thing that people are interested in. So I think um, taking that and my experiences away and just using it as a conversation starter is a great start, starting point. Also, um, going over there and really having no family besides the people that you do meet over there. Um, for me, traveling to a new place to live and not knowing as many people as I do here, I think it's going to be a great skill to have to be able to make new friends and know that I can get out of my comfort zone and be still alright. 
So thank you, Riker. It was so exciting to hear about your next adventure and kind of more about your study abroad experience. Um, if you want to learn more about study abroad, visit us at usac.edu or follow us on social media at studyabroadusac. And if you're an alumni who wants to share your story and come talk to us more about your study abroad experience and what you've been up to since you studied abroad, email us at studyabroad at usac.edu.